Hello, my name is Tom Rummage. During this video presentation, we will detail the installation of a WK series gauge, option W, using our M-Bond 610 adhesive. For this video presentation, we assume proper surface preparation has been accomplished. For the complete steps of that surface preparation, see our bulletin B129 and the video on our website. In this video, we will cover the following steps. Mixing the adhesive, gauge preparation and layout, adhesive application, clamping and cure requirements, tape removal and post cure. For our demonstration we will be using these materials. Our M-Bond 610 resin and curing agent, a mixing funnel, the WK series gauge with option W, blunt nose tweezers, MJG2 Mylar tape, a previously prepared demo beam, surgical shears, Teflon film, silicon gum pad, aluminum backing plate, spring clamp, and a convection oven. Step one will be the proper mixing of the adhesive system. Before mixing, be sure to check the expiration date on the M-Bond 610 adhesive and curing agent bottles. Out of date materials should not be used. Uncap the resin and curing agent, discarding the shipping caps. Do not attempt to make partial batches. Be sure to use all of the pre-measured materials. Pour the curing agent into the resin bottle. Discard the funnel and empty bottle. Tightly recap the adhesive with the provided brush cap applicator. Vigorously shake the mixture for approximately 10 seconds. Be sure to record the current date on the label as the M-Bond 610 has a mixed pot life of six weeks at room temperature. Allow the adhesive to stand for at least one hour before using. Step two will be gauge preparation and layout. Be sure your hands are clean as well as the work surface, surgical shears, and blunt nose tweezers. Carefully remove the folder containing the WK gauge. Splay open the folder in butterfly fashion. Grasp the gauge carefully by the tab corner with the clean blunt nose tweezers. Do so without touching the grid area. Place the gauge bonding side down on the clean work surface. When properly oriented, the copper terminals will be visible on the top surface of the gauge. Using a short length of MJG2 Mylar tape, cover just the terminal end of the gauge. Leave three open sides for solvents to escape. Lift the tape at a shallow angle to prevent damaging the unbonded gauge. Remove it from the work surface. Position the gauge with alignment triangles over the burnished layout marks. Gently pressing the gauge to the surface with the acetate folder will aid in checking alignment. Reposition if necessary, again lifting the tape at a shallow angle. Step three is the adhesive application. Next we will lift the gauge handling tape to expose the bonding side of the gauge. Carefully remove excess adhesive from the brush by wiping several times on the inside of the neck of the bottle. Do not wipe the excess on the lip. Using the side of the brush, coat the bonding side of the WK series gauge with a thin layer of adhesive. In a similar manner, place a thin coating of adhesive on the target area of the specimen. Leave the bonding surfaces exposed to air dry for at least five minutes, but no longer than 30 minutes for M-Bond 610. Smoothing the tape down, reposition the strain gauge in the desired bonding location. Step four will cover clamping and M-Bond 610 cure requirements. Secure a short length of Teflon film over the gauge with two small pieces of Mylar tape. Place a silicon rubber pad on the Teflon directly over the gauge. To distribute the clamping force evenly, center a metal backup plate over the pad. Numerous devices are available to provide the required pressure. The one selected must contain a spring to assure constant force during the cure. On horizontal surfaces, a dead weight may be used. Before starting the cure, be certain the backup plate is parallel to the specimen surface. Place the clamp gauge specimen into a cool oven and raise the temperature to the desired level at a ramp rate of between 5 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. The recommended time versus temperature curves can be found in our instruction bulletin, B130, provided with each M-Bond 610 kit. 
Step 5. Tape removal and post cure. Remove the clamp, backup plate, silicon rubber pad, and Teflon film from the cured installation. Peel the gauge handling tape back on itself. It will peel more easily if warm to the touch. If a post cure is required, place the unclamped part in the oven for two hours at 50 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit above the max operating or cure temperature, whichever is greater. The gauge installation is now ready for lead wire attachment. This concludes our steps for a WK strain gauge installation with MBON 610. For more details, refer to bulletin B130, MBON 610 installations, located on our website. For information concerning surface preparation, see Bulletin B129 and related video also on our website.